In this Universe Sandbox video, we're gonna be creating Pandora from Avatar. And we're gonna do this by creating Polyphemus first, the gas giant, and then Pandora as the moon. Hopefully this will show us what its orbit was really like and help us see the world of Avatar from a planetary perspective. In Avatar, Pandora orbits Alpha Centauri A, which is a real star. And luckily in Universe Sandbox, they have already created the Alpha Centauri triple system. So this is a three star system. It has Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. And Proxima Centauri is actually the closest star to Earth in real life. It is only about four light years away. In the movie, Pandora orbits Alpha Centauri A, and it orbits around gas giant Polyphemus. So we're gonna start by creating that. Okay, so I've thrown a couple planets in here that according to the Avatar Wiki, these are all of the planets in the Alpha Centauri A system. So we got two unnamed rocky planets here. I wasn't able to find a name on the wiki, but they could have a name. And then there are three gas giants, which are Oceanus, Polyphemus, and Creus. So we're not gonna worry about any of the stats on any of them except for Polyphemus. So if we take a look at the shot from the movie, we can see that Polyphemus is a blue gas giant. And the stats on it, it is slightly smaller than Jupiter, but it is also denser. So for the mass, we're gonna put one Jupiter um, for the mass, but we are going to create the radius and make it smaller so it's denser than Jupiter. Perfect. So now it is denser than Jupiter was, and now we can start creating the way it looks. So if we go into the visuals tab and open this bands tab, we can go to custom and we can see these bands here. So this is probably gonna take the longest of the video. We're gonna add a lot of bands just to get this looking really cool. That's a good amount of bands. So there is a giant blue spot, and unfortunately there's no way to simulate that in Universe Sandbox right now, so we're just gonna give it a bunch of light blue bands. I'm just gonna time lapse through this, and I'll see you guys when it's over. All right, perfect, there we go. So here's the picture that I found on the internet to go off of, and then here's mine. I tried to copy it as closely as I could. So now that we got Polyphemus, which is going to be our main gas giant, let's put in Pandora. So Pandora is actually a moon. So we're going to start with a random moon and let's start by putting it about this far away. Let's just adjust some of the settings here to get it correct. So the radius is 5,723 kilometers. We know that. And we know that the surface gravity is seven 0.35 meters per second. So let's turn down the mass until we can get that. Perfect. So that means that the surface gravity on Pandora is going to be less than Earth. So that's why they can jump higher, run faster. And also that's why most of the alien life on the planet has six legs. So it's easier to grip because with lower gravity, you're gonna slip more. So let's name it Pandora. And let's get to work on this because this is looking very ugly right now. So here's a reference picture of Pandora that I'm gonna go off of. So let's start by adding some water to it. So if we go to surface and then sea level, turn this up. So we're definitely gonna need a new elevation map because we're not gonna want all these like craters. We don't want a cratery one, maybe this one. This one might be good to start with. Yeah, this one looks like it will be good to start with. Let's turn on our flashlight. So the water to earth ratio is pretty close to that, I would say, like that. And let's add an atmosphere. The atmosphere is not very visible, so we can work with that. Let's put one earth atmosphere. And in the future, we're gonna be able to add different gases, which one of the key things about Pandora is it has um, a lot of carbon dioxide in it. So that's what makes it toxic for the humans to breathe it, but the Navi can breathe it just fine. So let's adjust the atmosphere. Let's change it to white and then almost invisible right there really scattering all the way up probably think about there it looks pretty similar to the picture and then for clouds these clouds are already pretty close i think that looks pretty close to what we see on the planet now let's adjust the land on it could add vegetation on it oh yeah that's looking good i think the vegetation needs to be a little bit darker and a little bit more yellow. And the water on the planet is very vibrant blue. All right, that's looking pretty good. So one of the key things about the life on Pandora is they all have bioluminescence. So I'm actually going to add city lights, but then change this to a light blue to get that bioluminescence look out of it. So at night, they all light up. 
So this will show that by when it's dark, we get this glowing blue effect like we see in the movie. And let's move it a little bit closer to more line up with this picture here. If we're already all, right, all the way zoomed in on Pandora, we're not nearly close enough. We don't want to get it too close that the tidal forces are going to rip it apart though. So let's try that. Auto orbit this. Now we can also see in the picture that there are other small moons. So let's add a couple small moons to it. There are 13 other moons of Polyphemus. Perfect. So we got all these smaller moons in here. And let's make sure the temperatures are going to be okay on Pandora. Average temperature 22.6, which is slightly warmer than Earth. So I think we're going to leave that. That looks perfect. And also you can see in the movie Avatar that eclipses happen daily, which we can observe will happen on this planet if we go and land on Pandora really quick. And then check out Polyphemus. We can see that as Polyphemus rises, it's going to go in front of Alpha Centauri A and cause that eclipse that we see. So in the middle of the day for a certain period of time, the sun is blocked right there. So yeah, it'll get blocked and daylight will get blocked out for a minute. And then also it's going to have a day-night cycle on it. So if we check the rotational period, it's 20 days, which we're going to need to change. So the rotational period, according to the wiki, is 24.78 hours. It's just that. And then also the tilt on it is 26.2 degrees. So let's make that 26.2. And we get the correct tilt, which we can see is about there. And Polyphemus appears to also be tilted slightly, which we do have already. So we're just going to leave it like that. So here's our Pandora now. We got our bioluminescence in the background. And let's check our habitability. It should be pretty high. 39.6, which for a moon is going to be good. And that kind of makes sense because compared to uh, Earth, it's a little different, but it is accurate to the movie. Um, here's my Pandora that I made and here's the picture again. So I think that looks pretty close and I'm going to try to line it up to get that same shot that is in the movie. Okay, so here's a shot from the movie and here's what I was able to create, which I think looks very close. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna see more content similar to this, leave a like on this video so I know you want more. The link to this simulation will be in the description in the workshop. Um, join my Discord server. Link will be in the description along with all the sources for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.